Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share a tragic story with you out of Newport, Michigan, where a speeding car crashed into a building where a child's birthday party was taking place at Swan Boat Club in the afternoon on April 20th of 2024. With a breaking news alert. We begin with breaking news out of Monroe County. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 6. I'm Simon Shaket. This scene still active in Berlin Township at the Swan Boat Club, and we are still working to piece everything together involving an emergency situation there. 7 Action News reporter Tierra Braddock live there now. And Tierra, what have you learned as far as what is unfolding there? Well, Simon, I'm still working to learn a little more details about exactly what happened here at the Swan Boat Club in Berlin Township. And I'm going to step out the way so you can see the scene behind me. Now, I want you to see some of the emergency vehicles here. We have French Town Fire Department, Moreau County Sheriff's Office all on the scene. And we don't know exactly what happened just yet, but you can see a hole on the side of the building. Again, we are not clear exactly what happened, but I want you to see the scene right now. Extremely active. So many first responders coming in and out. We have Seen. We were here for an, about an hour and we kept seeing first responders coming down. Now, I do want to mention that the boat club did put a Facebook post out saying do not come to the boat club because they want to make sure first responders can get to it safely. So please do not come here if you are in this area. According to police, a car raced through the parking lot of the Swan Boat Club around 3 p.m. and crashed into a building, landing roughly 25 feet inside where a child's birthday party was taking place, and multiple people at the party were hit and injured. Thank you for joining us. We start with breaking news tonight out of Newport down in Monroe County. A large police presence is at the Swan Boat Club off Brand Show Road. Our crews have seen several emergency helicopters taking off and landing in the area. Let's get right to Jacqueline Francis. She is live near the scene. Jacqueline, what can you tell us? Will and Pam, this is just a horrific situation here. There's really no other way to put it. What we can tell you is that police are going to give us an update within the half an hour, but I've talked with people who were on scene when or shortly thereafter it happened, and here's what we can tell you. There was a children's birthday party here at Swan Boat Club when a car drove through the building where that birthday party was happening. That's from parents and other sources who were on scene again when or shortly thereafter this happened. We're still waiting to hear from police, but I do want to show you that hole in the building. You can see it's that blue building there is where we're told the birthday party was happening. There is a huge gaping hole. That is where we can assume the car went through the building. We know that there were multiple ambulances here. There were helicopters, medical airlifting people out of this boat club area, taking them to area hospitals. We don't know the extent of injuries. We do not know how many people were hurt. We can tell though by the police presence that this was a serious situation. It's still ongoing. The county Monroe County Sheriff's Office is going to be handling this investigation. We're going to get information from them within a half hour and then at eight o'clock tonight they're planning to hold a press conference. We will be there for that. We will continue to update you on air and online reporting live Jacqueline Francis local four. Police held a press conference giving more details about the horrific crash saying that 15 people were seriously injured at the scene and two children lost their lives, an eight-year-old girl and a five-year-old boy, and they were siblings. Victims were transported to area hospitals by helicopter and ambulance, but there's no word on how the other victims are doing. Police also said the person driving the car that crashed into the building was a 66-year-old woman who was under the influence of alcohol. And if you listen to the press conference that I'll play for you shortly, you'll hear a reporter ask about a police presence at a tavern local to the boat club. And the sheriff says that they do believe the driver was at the tavern before the crash. This is a horrific tragedy, and so many prayers are needed for the victims and their families, especially the loved ones of the precious children who lost their lives while just trying to do what children love to do, attend a fun birthday party. God bless all the victims involved and the people who witnessed the horror that took place there. Here's the press conference with more details about the crash. And thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video.
rolling. Uh, let me know. Everybody ready? You guys good? Well, hello. I'm Troy Goodenough. I'm the sheriff here in Monroe County. Um, I want to thank, first of all, Berlin Township for allowing us to utilize their government building for this unfortunate tragic announcement. Today at approximately 3 p.m. Eastern Time, emergency personnel were dispatched to 6332 Branch Hall Road in Berlin Township, the county of Monroe, regarding a motor vehicle that struck a building at the Swan Boat Club. The vehicle struck the north wall of the facility, entering the building, and came to rest approximately 25 feet inside the building, where a young child's birthday party was being held. Upon arrival, <coughs> excuse me, first aid was provided to approximately 15 victims, which included adults and young children. Nine of those victims were transported by ambulance and or medical helicopter to local hospitals with serious life-threatening injuries. A total of three children and six adults were transported. Several others were transported by private vehicle to local hospitals. Unfortunately, in tragedy, two of the victims were pronounced deceased at the scene. <clears throat> this includes an eight-year-old female and a five-year-old male <clears throat> who are siblings of each other. The 66-year-old uh, female driver of the vehicle <clears throat> excuse me, who will not be identified at this time, has been taken into police custody for operating while intoxicated, causing death, and she's lodged at the Monroe County Jail. Additional criminal charges will likely be brought against the driver as the investigation proceeds. At this time, investigators are continuing the process, evidence at the scene, identify victims, interview, interview witnesses, and reunite family members. The scene was described by the first responders as, as extremely chaotic with high level of emotions of those directly involved and those who witnessed this horrific incident. With me today are members of emergency first responders who were at the scene dealing with this tragedy that includes Berlin Township Fire Department, Frenchtown Township Fire Department, Monroe Township Fire Department, Rockwood Fire Department, Monroe Community Ambulance, Huron Valley Ambulance, and the University of Michigan Survival Life Flight, who dispatched two helicopters. I remind everybody, this is an active investigation with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office being the lead investigation agency, our Traffic Services Division, our Detective Bureau, our Youth Services Division, Evidence Technicians, our Drone Team, and our Chaplain Service. We were assisted at the scene by members of the Monroe Public Safety Department's Accident Investigation Team, Detective Bureau, Chaplain Services, along with the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office, Accident Investigation Team, and the Michigan State Police. That's all I have today. Yes, ma'am. We have information that she may have been there, yes. Um, we went in, we shut the business down, and we're in the process of executing a search warrant for information as to their business conducted at that day. Thank you. Uh, you said um, nine transported with serious life-threatening injuries, three children, six adults, and then there were other people who also went to local hospitals, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. They were transported by private vehicle. Yes, ma'am. So how many, uh, 15 total victims, right? That's what our preliminary estimates are, yes. How many people were inside the, the structure? We're having a difficult time determining that because of the mass, uh, the scene, and um, trying to communicate with individuals that were there that could tell us how many people were in there. As, you know, as I said by the uh, words of the first responders, it was chaotic. There's two buildings there. Yes. So the area that the, the party was in is separate from, say, the boat club. So there's a mix of people that were back and forth between the two areas, so it's complicated right now. I'm trying to get everybody that was there, some people who had left the scene, the people who were involved in the party, and then the people who were actively participating in both club activities. 
Beans Chief Wendy Stevens from Frenchtown Fire. Um, I know it's obviously an open investigation, but what was her demeanor after, I mean, were you able to communicate with her at all? Um, was she coherent? Did she realize what she had done? I mean, we were seeing surveillance video, of, doorbell video of her just zooming through, like she doesn't even realize she's headed right towards the building. As to her mental state, I don't want to get into that, but I can tell you that uh, she cooperated at the scene. This is just a horrific story. It is. Anything else? Okay, thank you.